Hi everyone, my name is Rajesh and in this video we are going to have a look at the concept of on-premise software versus a cloud-based or a SaaS-based software. Now, in our previous video, we have already seen how an application or a web application or an ERP system works technically. If you have not watched that video so far, I'm giving the link over here. So you can just go and watch that video first to understand the working of the software. Now, after understanding that, let us see how exactly an on-premise versus a cloud-based software works. So for any software to work, these are all the components that are needed. Application, data, runtime, middleware, operating system, virtualization, servers, storage, and networking. Now, the differentiation between an on-premise software versus a cloud-based or a SaaS-based software is something that is based on who manages which all components of all of these technical components that are needed. Now, I understand that for many of you who are non-technical by qualification or by education, these terminologies might seem little confusing, but that's anyways not a matter of worry. Let's simply simplify it this way. You don't need to remember anything else apart from application, data, and let's call everything else as all other technical components, because that is not the focus of our discussion right now. Now, in our previous video, you have already seen what is application or a front end and what is data or which is a part of kind of back end or a server side of the things, right? The database tables, the application logic and the file system together become a server side of the things as we have already covered in our last video. Now, if application data and all other technical components is something that is managed by a software service provider, then we can say that it is a SaaS based application or a cloud based application, which is essentially a software as a service. On the other hand, if all of these things are being managed by you as an individual customer, then in that case, it is essentially an on-premise application. And somewhere in between this on-premise and SaaS based application, you have infrastructure as a service and platform as a service. But let us understand these terms later. For now, let us focus on SaaS versus on-premise. Now, here are certain comparison points when it comes to a SaaS or cloud-based software versus an on-premise software. First of all, how the UI is accessed. So in case of a cloud-based software, you will see that in most of the cases, the UI is ideally accessed through web browser. UI means the user interface. So the user interface is accessed through web browser. On the other hand, in case of an on-premise application, in many of the cases, you would see that there is a certain application that needs to be downloaded on a desktop or that needs to be downloaded on your device from where you will ideally access that software. Now, it is not necessary that the software will always be accessed. So in case of on-premise, there can be some softwares that can also be accessed through browser, but then still those are on-premise software. However, in case of a majority, it will be through the application that is downloaded on your local machine or on your desktop. The second thing, the need of server side hardware. So in case of an SaaS based application or cloud based application, as we have seen in the previous graph, there is absolutely no need for a customer to purchase or to invest in any hardware for the server side of the things. Now we already understand what is the server side of the things. However, what they will need as an hardware investment is just a laptop or a desktop so that they can access the client side or the front end or the application part of the software. On the other hand, for the on-premise softwares, there is a heavy investment that is needed in terms of servers or networking equipments and so on and so forth. The third point of the comparison can be based on where exactly the data is located. So if you follow the technology related news, you might already be aware of this term called data center. So you might be hearing the news that, okay, Oracle or Amazon or Google are setting up their data centers somewhere in this country or that country. So data centers are basically those places where a lots and lots of CPUs or servers are stacked together and they are connected through the internet. That's where all of the data that is generated by various clients of these software service providers is ideally stored in the databases that are located in those data centers physically. On the other hand, in case of an on-premise software, the data will be located at your end only. 
as you might also be aware if you are following the technology news that more and more countries these days are now focusing on the data related regulation the countries are regulating more and more that the data that is getting generated in their country should actually be stored in their country itself for example in uk and european union countries there are these regulations called gdpr or general data protection regulation which basically makes it essential for all the service provider companies to store the data of the citizens of these countries in that country itself even in india we are now witnessing certain such laws and regulations that are being created around this data storage so that's about like how exactly the data is stored in case of a saas versus in case of an on premise application the next comparison point is a simple thing whether the internet is needed to access a cloud based software versus an on premise software so in case of a cloud based software the internet is an essential or integral part without internet any saas based application cannot ideally work on the other hand for an on premise software internet is not 100% required component now i agree that even in case of most on premise softwares if let's say the employees of the organizations are working from home or working from any other place than from where the data and the backend resides then in that case the internet will still be needed so in case of an on premise the internet is not essential however in case of a saas the internet is absolutely required the next point is around the customization so as we know that all of these large erp softwares which are like oracle or sap or microsoft navigation all of these are kind of standardized softwares and that's where many of the organizational clients are having this requirement that whether these software processes can be customized as per our needs or not now customization is a very very specific term that is used in this software related context in a very very simple term the customization means something that requires a change in the source code or the change in code of the application now in case of a typical saas or cloud based application customizations may not always be possible at the saas layer itself but you might need something called pass which is platform as a service for doing or developing certain custom applications or custom processes which in turn will then be integrated with your major saas based offering now for an end user ideally this does not matter because for an end user even if it is a saas based application or a pass based solution that you are accessing you will be accessing it exactly the same way like through the browser through the same ui or maybe through the same url but then in case of an on premise software the customization is something that can be freely done that is simply because everything is being possessed by you as a customer and that's where you are free to do any custom changes or any customizations in the application the next part can be based on upfront investment or the upfront cost that is needed so in case of a saas or cloud based software the upfront investment is very low as compared to an on premise even if we consider the running cost then also the saas is comparatively cheaper as compared to the on premise softwares and that's simply because of the next point which we need to consider when comparing both of these is the scalability so in case of a saas ideally speaking all the software vendors follow the modular approach what it means is suppose that you are a company and you currently just need the financial applications but maybe 2 years down the line you will need a supply chain management application also then right from now you don't need to procure the licenses for the supply chain management application what you can simply do is you can just go on with the financial application at the moment and 2 years down the line when you actually need the supply chain applications you can simply plug those applications on top of your current financial applications similarly in terms of number of users also it is highly scalable like initially you might need the licenses only for 10 users but let's say 3 years down the line your organization has in increased and that's where you are needing let's say licenses for 100 users then this is something that can be easily scalable in terms of or in case of the saas based application now even in case of on premise this is something that is doable however it might also require some sort of hardware changes because let's say if the application is upgraded or let's say if you are adding some more applications on top of the applications that you are already using 
or let's say if you are increasing the number of users then in that case you might also need to increase the hardware capacity or the capability at your end because here the hardware is also being managed by you on the other hand in case of a saas it is kind of an unlimited hardware scalability that you can achieve and that's where as far as the scalability is concerned the saas is again better as compared to the on premise and that's where even the cost of running is also lower in case of a saas based offering so these are certain differentiation points in case of a saas versus on premise now i hope that with the help of all of these pointers you would be better understanding the difference between the saas or cloud based applications and the on premise applications thank you everyone for watching this video with the advent of cloud the erp solutions are becoming more and more affordable and that's where even the small and mid scale organizations are increasingly opting for erp softwares what it means for us is erp consulting as a career option is now more lucrative than ever so if you are a fresher finance commerce and management graduate and want to build your career in the erp consulting industry then go visit www.yourerpcoach.com and hit that inquire button right now